Hi, this is KB2MXV, Frank, and I just want to do a little demo of the Ares Connect uh, website for Eastern Pennsylvania. If you haven't registered yet with Ares Connect, you should go to the EPA website, and that's at epa-arrl.org forward slash Ares Connect. This is where you're going to register to use the uh, Ares Connect system. Uh, you want to click here, join Aries Connect, Eastern PA, and you'll be able to create an account. So once you do register and you go to uh, arrl.volunteerhub.com forward slash LP forward slash EPA, this is going to be the main screen uh, that you're looking at. And basically, up top it gives you three options events my schedule and you'll have your username with some options here to look at so looking at the event screen if you scroll down you'll notice that here in this box it's showing all events so if you were to scroll down you're gonna see all the events uh, that are in Eastern Pennsylvania that you can register for. Okay, and if you scroll down, it gives you the next months. If you're not interested, if you are only interested, let's say in your county's event, if you click on the drop down box, you can scroll down to your county. So my county is Schuylkill County, and let me find that in the list. Schuylkill. Oh, there it goes. So if I click on Schuylkill County, now the event list is just showing me a Tuesday evening event uh, for my county. So this kind of weeds out stuff and just to show you stuff that you might just be interested for yourself. So I'm going to go back to all events uh, just for this purpose. So what happens is you look for an event that you're interested in joining and I'm just going to pick the 19th. When you click on the day on the calendar, it shows you all the events that are available to register for. And here it tells you the date, the time. It tells you how many spots are still remaining for registration. Most of them are unlimited slots remaining, so anybody can join. And here it gives you it shows you how many points you will earn for logging into the uh, to such event. Now, if you hit the more button under an event, it'll give you most likely the frequencies that the net is taking place on, the PL tones, and all that good stuff. And it also gives you a contact person who manages uh, that actual event if you should have any questions. So I'm just going to hit the browser back button. So let's go back into the 19th and let's say I want to sign up for the Pennsylvania CW traffic net. I'm going to hit sign up. Oh, no, that's not good. I have a scheduling conflict. Let me back up one more. Oh, let me go back to the events. Let me pick a different day. Let's pick the 30th and I'll just click into here and so like here you see here's an event that's full registration is closed for that one uh, but I'm just going to pick uh, Eastern PA emergency phone and traffic net I'm going to hit sign up and I'm going to get a message that says complete registration complete we have sent the confirmation to your email now the options here are view event details or back to event list when you click this button back to event list it puts you back at the beginning of the calendar I find it easier to hit the browser's back button and it'll put you back on the day that you were just looking at. Uh, so let's say from there you want to go forward. It's easier than starting all the way back up top. Up four. And just real quick, I'll show you what you get uh, in email. So you'll get an email from um, the ARRL telling you that the event registration was complete. This one was for the Susquehanna Valley Amateur Radio Club net. This net was on uh, 
Wednesday, August 28th, 7 to 8 p.m. If I need to cancel, there's a link there, and they also give you a little link that you can add it to, uh, you know, your calendar on your smartphone or on your desktop. Once the event takes place, usually about 30 minutes after the event, you're going to get a thank you email, and that's going to say uh, thank you for attending. And uh, what it's going to have is a little link here that's going to say click here to report your hours. So. Once you're registering for an event, if you click my schedule, now you will see your calendar and all the events that you've signed up for. So what we're looking at here are events that I've signed up for that I'm planning to attend. Now, in order to get credit for these events, you must sign up for them. There's no way for you to submit a request for for credits for an event if you did not sign up for it so here's my schedule and you know it, it gives you all your schedules that you signed up for and that's what this is good for now let's say there's an event that you can't make that you signed up for let's just go to Thursday and these are my two events that I've signed up for and let's say hey you know what I'm going to be out of town. I'm not going to be able to make these events. You should go in and cancel registration. It's going to say confirm cancellation. You say yes. So I already see you go. This event has been canceled from your list. So I'll back out of this. And now I only have one event on Thursday. And I'm going to go back into here and I'm going to cancel that reservation also. So when I go back to my schedule here, you'll see I have no events on Thursday. Okay, so now we have uh, the column under your name. You can update your profile, change your password, manage affiliations. So manage affiliations, it'll ask you if you're a Hurricane Watch watcher, if you're an NTS participant, you could check those and hit save. Uh, the other two options are viewpoints. When you click on viewpoints, it tells you what your total points are. And it'll give you a list of your recent activities and how many hours you've earned for those activities. And down at the bottom, it gives you um, the heavy hitters. These are the people for the last 30 days who have accumulated all these points. And then you have an all time list. So what you're going to be more concerned about is when you go to the view hours option. Now, when you're on uh, the view hours option here it tells you your total hours that you've uh, got credit for and notice there's two boxes here one box says report hours the second one says view our history now remember when I told you you could only get credit for events that you've signed up for so when I click in report hours and I hit the drop down there's only one event that happened already that I didn't put in uh, credit for. Now, if you do this maybe once a month, you only want to go back to this, you'll see the li a whole list of everything you were scheduled for. But for me, I'll enter yesterday's net. So I'll select the Schuylkill County Emergency Net and I'll say it was one hour long and I'm going to submit that. I was just submitted successfully. Now notice we're back on the view our page and notice we only have one button here now the button is now gone where it said submit hours that's because I've submitted all my time for all the events that I registered for already and there's nothing for me to continue register uh, or submitting hours for because every event that I've uh, already did I put credit in for so that's what I was telling you that if you don't register for the event you're never gonna get that button that says, hey, submit for hours. Now, view hour history, if you click that, up top, you could put a, a starting date and an ending date, and then it'll give you your total hours, and it'll list um, the events and how many hours you had for. And you could print this event. If you hit print, it opens up a page, and it basically gives you the date how many hours and a signature so this might be something that you can give to your 
County's emergency coordinator, uh, so he has a record of it, but I think that's the point that a whole Aries connect so everything gets computerized. So I'm just going to back out of this, and that's about it. So it's, it's definitely a good tool. Uh, you have to do a little legwork. You have to go in and, and sign up for these events if you want to get credit for them. Uh, but this is the direction it's going, and uh, I found it very useful. So again, this is a KB2MXV. I hope this video uh, helped you out.